Lawrence E. Gibbs here for That's My Entertainment at this morning's roundtable interview with Cartoon Network's Adventure Time and Uncle Grandpa. What wacky answers will we get to our wacky questions? We'll find out because you know what? That's my entertainment. What's yours? Well, here are these two guys. Gentlemen, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Adam Muto. And I'm Kent Osborne. And what show are you guys plugging at this moment? Adventure Time. What time is it? Adventure Time. <laughs> I could say it twice. Yeah. No, sir. In all seriousness, Adventure Time, one of the best shows to come out on Cartoon Network. Heavily enjoy it. I mean, a lot of fans enjoy it. You see them walking around Comic Con dressed as the iconic characters. How does that really make you guys feel knowing that you've created such incredible characters that people will go out of their way and wear costumes to emulate those characters year after year? Oh, it's very, uh, <clears throat> very surreal. Uh, the first time I saw it, I was running up to people and going, "I work on that show." Yeah, and they, they don't just care. Gave you blank stares. Yeah, they're like, sure. uh, <laughs> was it kind of like deer caught in the headlight type look. No, they were just like, "Yeah, I dressed up as it. Like, I like it more than you." Or you know, <laughs> uh, but no, sometimes <clears throat> sometimes people are excited. And they're like, "What do you do?" And you're like, "I'm one of the writers." And they're like, "Do you know Jeremy Shada?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah." And then, you know. Well, you know that you've created something that is going to last for multiple generations when you got not only young adults dressing as, as Jake and Finn and the other characters, but the kids are dressing up as them as well. So they're going to pass it along to their kids. This could be one of the classics. Uh, like, you know, when we grew up, uh, you know, especially the Simpsons, Family Guy, what have you, that have lasted for years and years, it, it must be a great feeling knowing that this legacy is going to keep going on for quite some time. Yeah, especially in the early days when the show, we weren't sure how long it was going to go at all. You know, the first, second season, it was a bit, you know, dicey. It wasn't, you can't really predict what's going to last a long time. So I'm glad that it has, but it is still surreal, I think, even six seasons in, just to see people wanting to be those things. And it's like, we, we spend most of the days just working with our heads down. So this is like the only time we come out and see people and realize really what the reach of the show is. Uh, so it's really exciting. Well, as a father of three kids, I mean, I have a son that's almost 16. I have two girls that are 9 and 11. We watch a show. We enjoy it. We get a great laugh out of it. We love the, the bromance uh, between the two main characters and just like the you know, two stored you know, buds on adventures, you know, going out and just having a blast doing wild, incredible things. Uh, so coming from that perspective, I know when my girls grow up as well, they're going to say, oh, my God, you know, when they do the syndication, they're going to say, oh, my God, I remember watching this with my dad uh, when we were little and probably showing their kids as well. So this is something that definitely will speak to multiple generations. And it's one of the best shows that come out for Cartoon Network, at least for me, in a very long time. Oh, thanks. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, wait, how old are your daughters? Or? Uh, nine and 11. And who, are they are they bigger fans than your son, or is it Actually, ever? Actually, no, about equal. About equal, yeah, okay. for sure. And the son's sixteen. Yeah, almost okay. sixteen. Okay, yeah. that's good. Making a profile. <laughs> All ages, yeah. And what are their names? <laughs> uh, Shayna, Shyla, and Jeremy. Oh, wow, those are interesting names. Yeah. But no, great, great show, and we definitely appreciate you guys taking time uh, to speak with us. We hope you have an incredible time at Comic Con, and you know, if you want, go up to some of the cosplayers and say, hey, "Look, I'm the one that created this. You damn well better be excited about this." <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you very much.